in this video i break down four questions that nigerian men innocently ask nigerian women not knowing that these questions turn them off make them lose attraction and chase these women away so make sure you watch till the end what can i do to convince you that fill in the blanks to convince you that i love you to convince you that i am serious etc this is a very bad question to ask because it immediately and very early on puts you in a position of subservience of servitude of what do you want my queen what can i do to impress you my queen now realistically we both know that in general in most relationships women are the receivers and men are the givers doesn't make them bad people it doesn't make oh women are so no they're not bad it's just nature it's the nature of things i'm not saying men shouldn't get anything but i'm saying that's how it is in most re most relationships especially and since this is the case if you come in with your badge and within the your badge now servants within the your badge now houseboy she will just let you do your work and the fact that she lets you serve her or let you do stuff for her doesn't mean she likes you no, is it not not be just two weeks ago where caramel talks and um, women have men for everything she's not wrong they do and sometimes it's not because it's not as if they are looking for men for oh you come and help me and do this no she could just day you go carry yourself go meet them say what do you want me to she'll just point and pick that broom strip that she will give you work because you asked for it you feel me the guys that she likes obviously they would obviously put in some work you understand but even when they don't put in that work, the feeling she has towards him are still there. But yours is conditional. Your own is conditional because you made it conditional. It's like guys who come out and say, like after two years of dating, they come out and they complain that whenever, whenever like their girl is not getting what she wants, she begins to act out. Of course she would act out because like that is how you dated her from day one up until now. And you want to now come and change. You want to change after two years of acting some type of way. Of course she will act out. She's already used to you being a slave. <laughs> what the fuck? She's used to you being a slave, you feel me? You want to now change overnight. This, that, that, that problem you're complaining about could have been fixed from day one. I am not saying you will never give your girl anything, because you will, you feel me? Time, affection, attention, you give her a lot. But if you start off the relationship with you coming out there saying, what can I do to help you? What can I do to make you happy? What can I do to, what can I, what can you, 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 you? Without giving room to, re, to receive as well. That is what you do throughout the relationship. You'll be trapped. And if you come to complain, it will be too late because she's already used to you. She has already given, delegated you to a particular job, a houseboy. The second question you should never ask a Nigerian woman is, do I make you happy? This is basically the equivalent of asking a woman, how was it? Did you come? How was the, um, how was the sex for you? It was fun for me. It's a good time. I enjoyed it yeah <laughs> no that's a very like you should assume that she liked it if she didn't you would know by maybe next time if you call her and say me she show your house she don't go show again like there's so many ways that she would show that she didn't like maybe you know satisfy him but before then assume that she liked it you can't be asking how was it did you come like a juman so it's basically the same thing asking do i make you happy it just like it has it, it contains all the traits that women hate in men which is number one you not being assertive enough you not believing in yourself and in your ability enough and number two you basically being needy needy for her validation needing her to validate your efforts in the relationship all those things are very unattractive to women now they would never tell you but if you notice that 10 guys or 15 guys have a certain attitude and 90 percent of women hate those 10 guys or 15 guys then you just have to take the hints that um, maybe those attitudes are not attractive to women you feel me that's how you learn it's not necessarily whether she tells you she likes something or not or whether she says no if continuously she doesn't respond to that thing then she probably just doesn't like it number three asking her excessive questions about her ex now this is unattractive for so many reasons one is it makes it seem like you want to use her ex as a template for your relationship that is you want to know the things her ex did so you don't do them and know the things that her ex didn't do so you do them or like the things that he did that she didn't like and all those things like all that up and down is very unattractive to her okay let me give a very simple example imagine if you take over a company or an organization for example right and every step of the way you keep on asking the, the employees 
what their former boss would have done in different instances what would he have done here what would he do here what would he have done here slowly and surely those employees begin to look at you as not competent enough like you don't have your own like set of skills coming into the company what are you really bringing to them do you understand if you're asking them what their former boss did and what their former boss did here and what what their former boss did there it doesn't seem like you're competent enough and that is almost the same way a girl will feel you're asking how your ex this your ex that and also right something else is when you constantly bring up this ex he might either be a source of bad memories to her or even worse good memories number four questions that suggest a 50 50 financial relationship now within niger things are very difficult in nigeria having a girl or a woman right that has her own source of income to augment yours do you understand to maybe not lead the family but to help with things in the family is very important for most average families unless you're a big like you're just a fucking big boy which 80 percent of guys are not big boys for most average families that's the kind of woman you'd be happy to have you understand so i get it but that notwithstanding when you are getting to meet a woman getting to know a girl do you understand for whatever reason whether on a one whether on a, not just knock on a one knock whether you guys are going to date whether you guys are going to marry doesn't matter those early stages but guys fuck up first impression so much it's crazy like those early stages when you are talking to her online offline wherever and you start imputing statements like i like a girl who can fend for herself or you start saying things like ah me i cannot keep myself when any woman no ah the, the one where i get if you know do one make sure they go now you're not you're not doing what you think you're doing if, if that makes any sense you guys know i always use that example of if you go on a date for example and then the baby you carry come out she started to talk say ah me i cannot cook, ah, i cannot cook for a man no, if if him he does not know how to cook that's his business of us will just sit down there any day man wants to cook that kind of energy of that kind of if i cook today he'll cook tomorrow energy immediately the guy is turned off this doesn't mean that if he's dating that girl he's not going to cook for her it doesn't mean that if she's like ah, i'm not in the mood today honey he will probably cook for her on a normal day but given the fact that that is the first impression he gets he's turned off immediately it's the same thing with going on a date and trying to do the whole um if if nobody should come and, and kill me do you understand that energy is not attractive it is not attractive women love masculine men men love feminine women don't come in there and be, and be too combative with this thing if you can just be smart and gradual with this thing as time goes on the girl would come to realize that okay see the amount of money this guy has it might not be that big let me argument let me help out do you understand it's either she does that or she doesn't but let that be a gradual thing don't just come on the first week or on the second week and just turn the babe off because you don't have sense that's not how to do these things that's not how to do these things all these social media all these twitter bands that you're seeing that men are attacking women women are attacking men it's fun on twitter it's very fun on twitter but when you meet an actual human being treat them like like an actual human being you understand what men like and what women like as as if i'm talking to both men and women right now understand what men like and what women like don't go in there and carry twitter, twitter bands on your head and be talking like a child you have to learn how to be subtle both men and women and this is actually advice for both of both of us we have to learn how to be subtle with these things